Want to improve reading comprehension in kinder through third grade and beyond? Watch this video for step-by-step -step instructions for a creative read aloud activity for literacy. For the best creative activities for your classroom, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Tuesday. Are you frustrated and want to help improve reading comprehension for your elementary learners? By the end of this video, you'll know how to host a reader's theater activity and help improve reading comprehension, fluency, and literacy. These are proven successful activities that I've used for the past 11 years on elementary campuses with over 3,000 learners. So now it's your turn. Step one, set up your classroom. Okay, so the first thing that you'll want to do is set up your classroom so that it's super easy to work with the group. Not everyone will necessarily get a chance to be the actor each time you do this activity, but that's okay. Being an active audience member is just as important. To set up your classroom, I suggest putting five to six chairs on your stage. Now, your stage can be anywhere in your classroom. Just line them up right next to each other. Step two, select your script. So next, you'll wanna select something like a short book or a reader's theater script that has a variety of character types so that you can encourage creativity in their reading. Now, since you won't have to worry with memorizing lines or costumes or props, all of the energy can be put into voice inflection, characterizations, and just having fun. Okay, so let me ask you, do you have some suggestions on some amazing books that would make great readers theater scripts? Comment below with your best suggestion. I'd love to hear your ideas and share it with everyone. All right, on to step three, set up your learners for success. We wanna make sure that we encourage creativity amongst your actors but also emphasize how to be a good and respectful audience member for those that are watching. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up. And pop, out of the egg came a tiny, very hungry caterpillar. He started looking for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake. One ice cream cone. One pickle. One slice of Swiss cheese. One slice of salami. One lollipop. One piece of cherry pie. One sausage. One cupcake. And one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice leaf. And after that, he felt better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out and... He became a beautiful butterfly. By implementing a reader's theater activity in your classroom, you're helping to increase reader fluency, encouraging reluctant readers, helping learners practice public speaking skills, and increasing student focus and engagement. It's a proven fact that if learners are doing activities that are creative and fun, they will do better in school. And that's what we all want, right? Now that you know how to set up your classroom and conduct a reader's theater, I realize it can be difficult to remember all the steps. Never fear, I have a checklist for you so that you can set up your reader's theater for success. And I've included a Very Hungry Caterpillar script too. You can download it now and keep it as a reference when planning your own theater. Now click on the link below this video. It will take you to an instant download that you can use today and begin implementing your own reader's theater. Also, if you wanna join a community of passionate educators just like you, 
I have a secret society where I share up-to-date creative activities and even life hacks to help you when your brain is fried and you need a little creative inspiration. If you like this video, please let me know by liking it below. Subscribe and share it with your fellow educators. And comment below with bravo if this video helped ignite your creativity. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time.